This is a very dangerous fixture for Shelburne, but if they win it, they're likely to go on and win the league. Yeah, and you mentioned about the running as well, Peter, and obviously, but this is a massive, massive week. You have Pats tonight, the form team, and then you have the league champions and Shamrock Rovers on Sunday. If Shelburne were to come out of this with three, four points, I think they could be well underway to winning the league title, Peter. It's back to the frenzy of another huge Dublin derby. A massive week this for Damien Duffany's charges, one which will end with a trip to Tala to take on Shamrock Rovers, who feel they're still in the hunt for five in a row. These two games set to have a significant bearing on where the title ends up this season. Clever operator Wood just drifts into those unoccupied areas. Here goes Tullock, driving against Schoberg. Still with Rayan Tullock. Wood didn't realise El Buzetti was uh, arriving blind side of him. And no free kick, Coyle lining one up. Ew! Plenty of venom behind that one. It was dipping, just not quickly enough for Mark Coyle. Well, he struck a well, I have to say. Looked to me like it was on its way. Plenty of pace and power in it. Just a little bit over the bar. All came to Tullock down that left hand side. But it's good pressure from Shells, keeping Pats in that half. And once he gets it out of his feet, Coyle, nothing else in his mind. Scored a similar goal in European football from a similar distance. Just nicking from Albuzetti. Get us out of his feet. He's hit it really well. Schoberg. Pina shows for it well in front of Griffin again. Somehow fashion a ball out to Albuzetti. And Ledwidge too eager. Yeah, I can see why he's playing, Keena, to be fair to him. He's been towards the near post, heading further than that, and flicked in! Joe Redmond delivers for St. Pat's. The side that are really purring right now, the side that has found real form when others are struggling so desperately for it. Go in front against the run of play at Talker Park. A goal that builds on a dozen in their last four league outings. But this one was straightforward, set piece, little glancing header on a great cabinet delivery. No, oh, look, the delivery is excellent. You can't take that away. Ledwich in front, Paddy Barrett in behind the two of them get it all wrong. Looks like Ledwich just backs over for some reason. I'm not too sure why. But you can't let Redmond get into that opportunity, give him a free header. He hasn't even had to do much. You have to give him huge credit. A little flick, he knows exactly where he is. Tullock now. Wood. Pirouetted into uh, trouble himself. Here's Forrester. And it's opening on the right-hand side for Keena, Mulraney driving to get into the penalty area. Checking back onto his left-hand side, oh, drawing the save from Kearns. Really caught that one, Aidan Keena, and Kearns grateful it was in the vicinity. Oh, this is a wonderful side, this is anywhere else, this is a goal, he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper, he's caught it, certainly caught it, was left foot, wonderful taste, but... He's done a really handful of Keena in this game, you can know why he started the game. Just a reminder going through the bottom of your screen that we will be with Shelburne again in Tala on Sunday. A big double header that will follow the FAI Cup semi final. Keena has spotted Kearns off his line and he's gone for Aiden Keena. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Oh, well. Wow. What an effort. Visionary from Aiden Keena. Almost brilliant. Oh, I thought it was in there, as I have to say. You just see it was dropping all the time. I have to say that's an absolutely outstanding effort. He's been, uh, he's played so well in this force that I've been part of everything that's good against Pats but that is outstanding Kavanagh Schoberg is heading towards Keena breaks for El Buzetti and this will come to Mulraney back on his right foot oh! and Pats denied by the woodwork again and Bulger gets involved straight away down the line for El Buzetti Ledwich out at a rate of knots and this will break for El Buzetti again, squares it across and in 2-0. Brandon Kavanagh. Daylight for St. Pat's and real trouble now for Shelburne. Oh, they cost themselves here, Shelburne. And once the delivery comes in, you can see Paddy Barrett just trying to guide it back to Tyreek Wilson. Tyreek Wilson doesn't think he's meant for him. He thinks, probably thinks Paddy Barrett's going to clear it when you consider it's a tricky one to play. Just get themselves all in trouble. It's an easy one to deliver. Paddy Barrett is trying to play to Tyreek Wilson, and Tyreek doesn't realise he's going to give it to him. It's probably a risky one to do. Maybe considering the situation, he's the clearest lines there, the experienced centre half. That's something you do not expect him to do, or even the Shelburne defence to do. They just gifted Pat a goal. Really good from El Buzetti. Would have been easy for him just to drive that one goalwards, but got his head up. So he had the runner in Kavanagh, the easiest of finishes.
City might be looking at this thinking. 2 0 win for Pats. If you look at the goal difference, it's an advantage Derry City. Could it all come down to the final day or are they chasing pack? About to converge. Tullock. Edge of the penalty area! Oh. They needed a spark. How about that from Ray and Tullock? That is as good as it gets. Always looking to get back on the inside on that right foot of his. That is an outstanding goal. And Shelburne back in it. Oh, this is a hell of a strike. I mean, he's shown promise certainly in this second half. To look a little, little, little interchange, but once he gets his head up, wow, that's absolutely out of the top drawer. Pace, precision, knows exactly what he's doing. My lord. I had a feeling Duff kept him on for a reason. And just even when Tyreek Wilson came on in the first half, you could just see there was possibly something there with Tullock. He has exploded into this game, and all of a sudden they've gotten that goal. Pats are going to show a, a different side of their game now. Up in the air for Boyd, who wins the knockdown. Manny Smith checks, shoots! Oh! Oh my God! goal for Matty Smith two goal of the season contenders for Shells have hauled them back from the brink here it's 2-2 in Tolka Park well I'm speechless there as I have to say the quality of the two goals we have just witnessed is absolutely outrageous I mean first of all from Tolka Sean Boyd we know he's been a nuisance he just guides that down to Matty Smith now Smith's got to do a lot of work here check back onto his left foot but wow, he's got, he's got to pull a finish out of the bag. And Shells have just responded at the right time, just when we needed some sort of quality from Tullock first goal. Matty Smith hasn't scored in a while. Redmond. Draws Martin in, now looks to pick his pass. Schoberg. Tullock has lost it, here goes Levy. Crossing opportunity, everyone stretching. Media turning! Oh, they've hit the post again. Kazim puts it in. His first touch of the game. Incredible. The pendulum swings again. Pats by three goals to two in the 89th minute. Alamin Kazim. An unlikely hero, perhaps. But how big a goal could that be for Pats in their chase for Europe and whisper it, possibly a late title push. But for Shelburne as well, having worked so hard to get themselves back into it. The third time tonight, Pats hit the woodwork. It was a brilliant effort from Melia, but the rebound was kind and swept in by Kazim. Shelburne two, St. Pats three. Oh, what a game, Des. I just speechless, absolutely speechless. I mean, they've got to give huge credit to Pats for just getting something out. Once it comes down that right-hand side, I think Shells need to defend the cut out the cross, but it comes in and Melia just manages to work something, doesn't he, off the bar. And that man, the substitute, just come on the pitch. Makes no mistake, Kazim. Will pick up the award. Kearns. Two and a half, maybe a little bit longer. Launch now towards Boyd. And there's a problem here for Matty Smith. Ref's going to the back pocket. And Matty Smith is off, an off-the-ball collision or an entanglement that uh, well, we'll need a replay to tidy up. I didn't see it myself. And there's a, a Pats player down and Matty Smith is off the pitch and with that maybe. Shell's last chance gone. Neither Damien McGrath saw it or he got word from his assistant. Looks like it's Aaron Bolger, I think, who's down. See if we can see it again here. Gannon in the penalty area as well as Martin. The cross doesn't reach either. And that's it, it's all over. A night of nights at Talker Park. But in the end, Shelburne, despite a stirring second half comeback, thanks to two stunning goals from Ryan Tullock and Matty Smith, they succumb to St. Pat's. The Saints march on.
five straight league wins, Dometsky one defeat in 11, seven points off the top St. Pat's at a time when momentum is everything. A long shot, they would need other results to go their way, but in this topsy-turvy season, it's a shot nonetheless. Maybe the first title in 11 years, certainly at Europe, but for Shelburne it's now one win in nine. The results just will not come.